Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio. A podcast for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, learning essentials, and soft skills with Strenuous Life. Welcome to the Redemption Filling Station. We are going to be in a two-part series called Knowing the Truth. Okay? So if you will indulge me, yeah, we're going to be dealing with a certain chapter uh, in the book of John, John chapter 8. So we'll go ahead and go there. This is Jesus, uh, pretty much, he's teaching in, in the temple. And there's quite a few people that believe on Jesus at this point. And there's also quite a bit, especially among the leaders uh, of the day that didn't believe him. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to delve deep. This is uh, actually verses 31 and 32. So we're going to do 31 today and then tomorrow's episode we're going to do 22. Okay, so get ready. Saddle up for this adventure. Verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So, what does it mean to continue in this word? To have a commitment with him. You know, to be able to persevere. And be steadfast in Christ, okay? It says, Then ye are my disciples again, indeed. Okay? Even uh, Joseph of Arimathea was a disciple of Jesus Christ. Now, t- to make this fair, to make this fun, That was in the uh, King James. We're going to go ahead and uh, go into another uh, Bible translation Um, as soon as we can. um, As soon as we can find one in my uh, repertoire of the different uh, uh, Bible apps I have. Okay, um, this is the Douay Rings Bible. It's a Catholic Bible. It's almost, it's about, has the same poetic style as, um, as the King James. So, be ready for it to be somewhat similar. But then maybe, then again, it may not. Okay, verse 1. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you continue in my word, you shall be my disciples indeed. Okay? Now, we're going to make it even more fair. And we're going we're gonna to find yet another, another translation. We're going to go into the New Jerusalem Bible. Uh, so, you know, you know um, fairness here, we're going to be dealing with strenuous life. Um, of course, anybody that knows me knows that I stand by the King James. Chapter 8, verse 31. It says, To the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, if you make my word if you make my word your home you will indeed be my disciples so in the way it's kind of like our faith is like a homing device if you will and we, we continue in his word. We continue in his word. 
Now, some of you, you're kind of like, Jimmy, come on, this is this is all a word. What what happened to shows about pure entrepreneurship? Look, I understand, but this series is this series is about maybe eleven episodes from being almost over. Um, this first series of strenuous uh, redemption. So yeah, we're, we're going to talk sometimes about redemption. If you continue on my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Okay? Now I don't know what that means to you, but to me it means a lot. You, uh, you make a commitment. You make, you make a covenant that you're going to stick with Jesus Christ. You know, you make that commitment. And so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and John chapter 8 we're going to see if there is some uh, commentary from my church about it. See here's the thing to really know truth, I think it's important for you to know who truth is. See, truth in its essence is not a something. Okay? It's a somebody. And that somebody is Jesus Christ. Okay? And so that's why it's important that that I come and, and talk to you about these things. Now I realize this is probably something because see the truth makes us free. free. It really does. But in order to make us free we have to be able to know the truth. Know the truth about his mission as the Messiah, you know. And so, in order to know the truth, they must continue to obey, you know, Christ's word. Think about it. And if you continue to obey the word, you do know the truth. And the, and, the, and the truth makes you free. Of course, we're going to deal with this in some ways. The theologian uh, uh, James E. Fowles said that continued obedience to the Lord leads to knowledge of the truth and freedom. Okay? See, yes, I know many of you are probably upset because I'm giving out more shows that deal with faith. Because you can't compartmentalize your life, okay? Listen to me. You can't compartmentalize your life because it won't work. It won't work. You need to know the truth. Okay? You're probably wondering, well, well what is this that, you, that you've got that you're, you keep aiming back to religion and faith? Well, strenuous redemption. Think about it. Yes, there's plenty of topics about success and entrepreneurship we dealt with this season, but let's be real, folks. 
There's going to be a lot of elements of faith. Strenuous redemption. Because really, the strenuous life was patterned after Theodore Roosevelt. And Theodore Roosevelt was a man of faith. Okay, so now I hope you begin to understand. Hope you enjoyed listening to the Strenuous Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Strenuous Life Radio family. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time. Don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Think strong. Live strong. Live the strenuous life. God bless you.